And so the Genlock saga truly begins as we now meet the rest of the cast, as well as the story on what happened to Julian Chase and why he is somewhat uh, alive, although not everyone is happy to see him. I mean, they are happy to see him, but they are angry with the fact that um, after everything that has happened, he hasn't said a single thing about the fact that he was alive. Well, you know, when you are on the brink of death in a very top secret thing, of course you can't tell anyone you are alive, even though I have a feeling like it would have been pretty good if you did. You did. I mean, there are some attachments that are attachments, but I guess in the end Miranda Worth will not uh, be uh, really that... Uh, in, uh, well, I, I, so important is the wrong word. I will. Um, I prefer to mostly say. I think the right word what I'm looking for is heartbreak. I mean, she um, for all the heartbreak, it's very important that she feels very betrayed of all this. So this is me, the angry anime fan, and this is and this is Genlock episode two. It's revealed that uh, the reason why Julian is alive, although we cannot technically call it alive, is because he was rescued by um, Dr. Rufus's um, team. Although technically his entire body was almost blasted away. His entire underbody, part of his face and one of his entire arm is blasted away. So how is he alive? Well, through the nanotechnology that uh, he was infected with and now is in a tank here in this place. That's the only way how he's alive. But he, the hologram is a holographic projection that is into his brain. And that way he can also control the gen locks because it's revealed that Rufus, the doctor, reveals that he was, um, Chase was picked out long, long ago to be one of those uh, people that, uh, what, what do you know, um, how do you say this word? It was one of the many million that was compatible with the Genlock system, so they couldn't let him die. As uh, later on, the 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 Latino guy, who's voiced by Miles Luna, meets up with the tank of uh, where Chase is. It's where uh, they rekindle their friendship. Miguel Garza was his name. But as I said before, Miranda is not so much happy. I mean, she's happy that he's alive, but not so happy about seeing him in this situation, nor of the fact that she that he even told her that she that he was. We're then finally introduced to the rest of the Genlock team. The ones who are handpicked by this uh, uh, team of everyone else. We meet uh, Yasmin Madrani, who uh, was actually seen last episode too. Uh, as I said before, a pretty boyish looking girl, I presume, but she kicks a lot of ass. Uh, Cameron McLeod, uh, what I presume is a Scottish voiced girl. Oh yeah, and by the way, she is voiced by Maise Williams, most famous for her Games of Thrones work. And let me tell you, she is adorable. A little bit foul mouth though. And here is the biggest surprise, and also the biggest disappointment. We meet uh, Kasu I Lida, who is not voiced by none other than Japanese CG legend Kochi Yamadara, Yamadera, who only speaks Japanese. You know, when I saw that Kochi Yamadara was gonna be in this show, I was actually happy. But then I saw that his Japanese voice character is only speaking Japanese that is translated for subtitles. I immediately slapped my face and said, Oh, seriously? I mean, I can't blame if they don't speak English, it's just that this was one of the many few times when Japanese CU got to work on an American-like show, although well, technically this is a web series, but the thought is the same. And that he's still just gonna talk his mother language. They apparently, uh, the, the, the only reason why people understand is apparently because they have some implants in their eyes which can which gives subtitles of what he says <laughs> pretty strange 
Finally, we meet Valentina Roman Sirius, who I do not know if that is a woman or a man. I mean, it technically sounds like a woman, but the character who voices that person is apparently an gender neutral. And finally, Rob Sinclair, who is in the end in this episode revealed not to be Sinclair at all, but a uh, uh, spy. Because this episode takes the cake when, every, when all that Yanlock gathers, Sinclair's spy reveals himself to be the spy, and he wants to... It's not exactly unclear what happened to uh, uh, the real Sinclair, or if uh, the Sinclair was kidnapped and then cloned or, uh, well killed and then replaced it's not exactly known but it's worth noting that um, he seems to be working with those nano chips uh, people that uh, the the garrison are fighting the union so to speak once this show really kicks off i will finally learn what they really are for now i'm not really paying that much attention to it so well he tries to so when he takes Rufus hostage, he tries to um, enter in a place where he can inject himself into that brain. He demands to mm, use a hollow, and Rufus allows him only because he knows though, the fact that it will not work for him. The real, um, the real uh, Rob Sinclair may very well have been compatible. However, this is a spy or a clone body or whatever it is. It's not exactly known what he is. However, what is known is that he is not the real one. So, and according to Rufus in this earlier episode, the Genlock system has always been tested on all the different uh, organization members, and only a selected few has been uh, allowed to use this power, so to speak. Because uh, if you're not compatible, then you die a very gruesome and extremely uh, painful death, which uh, happens to the spy, which of course Rob is pretty casual about. I mean, Dr. Dr. Rufus Weller here is really shining in this episode, because this is uh, basically this episode, and as I said before, Dr. Rufus Weller really shines in this episode as a very comical-like character, especially when... Re Chase reveals he's alive and he's here. He he says spoilers <laughs> and then uh, many different things. So yeah, he does have that um, aura of a mad scientist. But at the same time, you really wonder what is he really thinking? Is this is this a well-intentional uh, mad scientist or is this a uh, or is this a mad scientist? Well, well with uh, some little more um, scary thought of it all. Either way, we have met the team. The story hasn't really kicked off yet, so it's still too early to say we're Genlock, but it was some nice action here. It was a fist fight in this, in this situation, and I have to say, it actually looked pretty well. I liked it. So, I mean, uh, I have now seen one and two episodes of Genlock, and I, like, and I say, yeah, I'm giving it a chance. This union actor is... Uh, does make it a little bit uh, less uh, interesting over the fact that now you don't see so many much of these Funimation actors, but hey, maybe that way this will be a little bit more acting based, who knows. But you can give me a false if you have any. <laughs>